What is up, it is Rosa, and welcome to today's video. Today I am wearing my On The Bias Darth Vader shirt. It's a little bit slow, ugh. it's a little bit small on me, so I'm gonna be selling it on my Poshmark and eBay, so if you guys are interested in this. It is a men's shirt, but it's a size small, hence it's a little bit tight around this area, you feel. But today we are doing a mystery unboxing. Today we are unboxing another mystery box from Queen of Thrift. You guys know that I love subscribing to her. It's not really subscribing, I just buy a box from her every month and I like to unbox it for you guys. If you guys want to check out Queen of Thrift, I will leave her link down below. Her name is Christine, she's super nice, she has awesome style and I can't wait to go into the box with you guys. So without further ado, let's just go into the mystery box. If you like this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs way, way up. Subscribe if you haven't entered the Bright Patch fan room when you have fun here all the time. Uh, 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 uh. Let's go ahead and get started, girl. So this month's box came in an Amazon box. I like that she recycles boxes um, sometimes, so that's great. She, of course, gave me a card like she normally does, and it's always with recycled brown paper. So the first thing we have on top is a tote bag, and this is a Tarte Rethink Natural tote bag, and it's just this bright pink one. I will be keeping this for myself because I am going to be, I mean, I thrift, so reusable bags are literally our life here in the Bay Area. If you guys don't know, I actually live in um, near San Francisco, California, so we actually don't have plastic bags here. So you have to bring a tote bag wherever you go. So this is perfect to put my packages in as well as going thrifting and things like that. I have like a mountain of reusable bags. So it'll go into my collection. Next was actually a really nice present. So she put like a little freebie in here, which I thought was really nice. I got a packet of Luxie brushes. It looks like it's not open, which is great. These are the premium synthetic handcrafted brushes. They're really tiny. I don't know if you can see that, but they're great for like the crease or actually smoking under the waterline, which is great because I don't have a brush like that. So I'm going to definitely be using these smaller ones because I've been wanting to do like a smoky like bottom line for a while. I just have, my brushes are too big. So when I do it, it's kind of like just a shadow rather than actually a line. So I'm really excited for these. Thank you, Christine. And then the next item in here is a mini, actually, is it a mini? Yeah, it's a mini um, melted matte lipstick in the color Queen Bee. You guys know that I wear liquid lipstick all the time. So it's just a little mini like this. And it's like a, oh, it is like a um, lavender color. So that's the color right there. I'm not going to swatch it because we're working on clothes right now, but it's just a beautiful dark lavender shade, which will be fun to wear during whenever I do videos. Maybe I'll wear this in the next video. I don't know. The first item I see here is a Minnie Mouse t-shirt. So when I speak to Christine, every time I'm ready to get a new box, I kind of let her know what I'm looking for. And then she tells me what she has in stock. So this time I got really lucky. She had a bunch of graphic tees in stock, athletic wear, things like that. And of course, Disney, you guys know I love to sell Disney. I wear Disney, I love Disney. Even though I don't consider, I mean, Star Wars is Disney, but like, I like Star Wars in its own thing. I don't really like the Disney Star Wars, if that makes sense. I know it's kind of blasphemy, but I really don't like any of the characters from the Disney Star Wars. I like all the old school characters. I mean, Darth Vader, Disney created Kylo Ren and I just can't get over that. So if you guys don't know, I hate Kylo Ren. I just think he's a little emo boy. I don't think he's cute. And I think that towel scene in the seventh movie, eighth movie, was like not necessary. Anyways, so I'm gonna go into Disney. This is a Minnie Mouse burnout sweater. It kind of has that athletic look to it, baseball tee style. It just has Minnie in the front and then it says Minnie 28 in the back. These kind of shirts, I'm going to start um, showing front and backs on my Poshmark listings as well as on eBay. So people can see that there is a back design and a front design. This one is particularly from Disney Parks and it is a size medium. Next is a mod cloth shirt. Yes, this is mod cloth size large. It's just a little basic navy cap sleeve shirt. It's very nice and soft. Like I said, it's a size large. There's a slight pilling onto it, but honestly, it's a great shirt for work. 
This is 95% rayon, 5% spandex, and again, it is a size large, so this will be in my career wear, I would say. And it'll go on Poshmark and eBay. And so will the Disney shirt. Next, I have these leggings, which are really cool. They are kind of pebble looking. I forget what it's called. Like, you know, ceramic, like wall art. Looks like that. This is by the brand Onzi. She knows that I pick up Onzi. This is just Onzi size medium and large. So I'm probably going to sell or list this around $25. Next is a skirt. I don't sell too many skirts, to be honest. I'm not like the biggest fan of skirts, but if it's a good brand, I'll pick it up. This is going to be definitely an experimental one because this is an Ann Taylor size 8, 75% wool, 25% nylon, and the lining is acetate so it won't be itchy inside, which is great. And it's just this gray mini skirt. Um, this would be great to pair with leggings, an Ann Taylor size 8. That's the brand, really cute, probably going to list this for, it's velvet too, like it has like that velvet feel on the bottom. So $20 to $25 will be good. Next is, oh, this is my favorite. I kind of mentioned this on my Insta stories. So this is a Disney, I think it's a Disney store, but it's still really cool. It's a size large, which it is my size. So I might wear it to Disney. I don't know the next time I'm going to Disney, to be honest, though. So probably the next time will be in September, like my wedding. So I don't know. But this is a Mickey and Friends sweater it's gray it looks like this it's super cool and it says mickey in front and says mickey on the side and it says and friends on the other side and i think that's super cool this is an awesome i would say instagram sweater if you want to take some cool disney pics at in uh, or wants to take cool insta pics at disney is a really great sweater and also just to wrap the fab five all right so the next item that i got is by the brand aloquy and i've never heard of this brand before but I think it's really pretty like kind of like a crop nautical rose top that's what I'm getting it it has that sateen feeling where it's not like actually satin it's like a sateen um, I'm pretty sure this is a hundred percent polyester it's a size 22 to 24 and this is 100 percent polyester but it has that sateen kind of feel to it so I don't know how much this goes for so I'm gonna have to look that up All right, next is another skirt. Like I mentioned, I don't really sell skirts, but this one was new with tags. It's a 10 petite loft. So, and I also don't sell petite really, but there's always a market for petite and it's a really cute skirt. A really nice material. Again, it is a mini skirt as well above the knee. So that one will probably go for $20, $25 as well. Everything I usually list around $20, $25. Next, we have some career pants. These I will list for around $30. Bucks. These are cabbie size 12. This career pants, black career pants. You guys know I got a lot of them in my last box. So I'm excited to get a pair from cabbie. I don't like to buy cabbie pants because I'm... I have one pair. It is a size double zero, so that's probably why it's not selling. But the one thing I love about Cabby is that Cabby tells you their style name. So as long as I can find it, I'm a happy camper. But I'll probably be listing these for 30. So next are some Fila sport leggings. They are really cool. They are hot pink, black with geometric print on the sides here. Awesome. These are called the running uh, legging these are 88% polyester 12% spandex and they are a size small they have a little bit reflective feel in the back and of course in the front really nice structured so I'm ex oh and there's mesh paneling as well so these will do well I'll probably put them up for 25 the last two are some graphic tees I thought these were really funny but I was just like what is happening I definitely it must be like a shark week type thing so the first item I got was a goodie two sleeves new with tags kitten cowboy kitten riding a shark throwing up rainbows so this is the t-shirt I have to wear this for one of my videos I think it's heck of funny it's just new with tags so I can't touch it that is hilarious I'll probably put that up for 25 bucks um, we'll see I'll have to look up the brand as well but I just think it's really funny and the final thing is something I am gonna wear in the video this is by the brand spread shirt it's a size extra large men's and it is just a kitten with a shark face that is all 
This is one of those shirts you wear where people don't understand why you're wearing it, but then it's like a conversation starter. So I think this one will be funny. I don't know how much this is going to go for. I think I'm going to, since this one isn't as substantial as the black one, I think I'm just going to put it up for 20 and see where I can get from that. But I honestly think it's worth it. It brings some character into my closet and I don't have to source a million items. Um, you know, I get... What, how many items? I don't even know how many items this is, but, and it keeps my cost of goods down, which is great. I honestly feel like she has such great style, and I will continue purchasing boxes until she runs out of them. This is kind of how I work, and plus it gives you guys some content for my channel that's not just like thrift stuff that I find for myself that is everything for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to give it a huge thumbs up subscribe if you haven't yet joined the bright patch fan room we have fun here all the time make sure to check out christine's instagram as well as her um, poshmark down below if you guys are interested in a box as well and let me know what you guys get in her box if you decide to purchase one and yeah that's all she wrote i hope you guys have a good one and i'll see you all in the next video Bye bye yeah, what's up? I'm the Mad Hatter. I'll pour you tea, please don't let it splatter. Does it really matter? Cause I'm the Mad Hatter. <laughs>